To make black eyed bean curry or chavli curry, I have one cup of black eyed bean which I soaked overnight and this morning I pressure cooked it adding enough water to cover the beans and also added some salt and took two whistles so you can see this is nice and soft. You also need two tomatoes, medium sized tomatoes chopped, two medium sized onion chopped, one teaspoon of each coriander and cumin powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, two pinch of asafoetida or hing, half teaspoon of mustard seeds and for this recipe I'm also going to make green masala. So for green masala, I have one handful of fresh coriander leaves, three green chilies, two teaspoon of chopped ginger. I usually like to add more ginger whenever I'm making green masala that gives nice flavor to any dish and four cloves of garlic. So first I'm going to blend this in a mixer and we'll make a fine paste adding little water. When the oil is hot, it's time to add asafoetida. Mustard seeds. Add chopped onions. Now fry until they turn soft. When the onions are fried nicely, it's time to add chopped tomatoes. I'll add some salt. And let the tomato cook. Even the tomatoes are soft, I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients. Turmeric, coriander cumin powder, mix them. And add the green masala. Allow this to fry for some time and you can see in this recipe I didn't add red chilli powder because I already added green chilli when I made the green masala so you don't have to add red chilli powder. I'm going to allow this to cook for some time. I fried this for approximately 3 minutes and now I'm going to add the cooked beans. Give it a nice mix. I'll add some water and we'll allow it to cook. We can check for salt. I'll add some water now. I added half cup of water and now I'm going to allow it to cook on a medium flame for around 5 to 6 minutes and later this curry should be ready. Alright, this gravy is ready. You can see this is nice and thick. I cooked it for around 5 minutes on a medium flame.